Hi again YouTubers. So it was requested of me to do a video on my top five foundations. Um, and I want to start with the fact that I think the key to any foundation is using a good primer. Um, I use Max Prep and Prime uh, with SPF of 50, but I think the primer really locks in your foundation. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about how the foundation fades or it um, loses its like staying power throughout the day and I find that does happen if I don't use a primer. But when I'm using a primer I don't seem to have that problem. So let me start first with my absolute favorite, 100% absolute favorite foundation and that is the Giorgio Armani, uh, the Luminous, and I have this in the color number seven. I love this stuff. No matter when I'm wearing it, it stays all day, the coverage is flawless, and it really is just a really, really nice foundation. So I really love this. Um, an old tried and true that is a great foundation, I actually have it on right now, um, is MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, now keep in mind guys with MAC foundations, if you haven't tried the liquid foundations, some people are prone to breaking out from MAC's liquid foundations. Um, so give it a little bit of time, but if you start seeing breakouts, it might be the foundation. I, however, do not have that issue with MAC's liquid foundations. Um, Studio Fix Fluid is a great foundation for me because of the powder in it as well. In the summertime when it gets um, hot out and my, skase, my face gets oily, um, this was really nice because the powders in it help it stay matte as well. So that is a favorite. Um, if you've heard me talk about my summer makeup, one of my favorite ones to wear in the summer is Dior Skin Nude. Oh, my Studio Fix Fluid is NW30, um, and it's a little bit light for me right now. Uh, my Dior is 40, and I use this in the summertime because it does have a high content of water in it, which helps, which helps hydrate your face during the day. And again, if I use my primer with this, or I put on a mattifier beforehand, like um, my Oil Control Mattifier by Murad, um, if I use that beforehand as well, um, this stuff stays on all day. Like, it's amazing. And it gives you the finish of this, but the mattifier underneath uh, keeps your skin from producing oils, which is great. So this is awesome. Um, another favorite, you guys always know, I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. Uh, this is the Kors Wild Rose Brightening and Long Lasting Foundation. This one is awesome. However, right now I have WRF3 and it's too light for me. And WRF5 was like to orange um, or something. So what I tend to do is I take my MAC Luster Drops in Bronze Hero. I put like one, maybe two of these little drops into this and then this works again for me. Um, I do that with a lot of my foundations that are my winter foundations. Now that I have the Luster Drops, I put a drop or two in there and it darkens up the color of the foundation and gives them a nice luminosity. So um, I'm so glad I can use this again in the summer, loving it. And then my last favorite, um, I do have other foundations, these are just my favorites, um, and unfortunately they're all kind of high-end ones, sorry guys, they're just the ones that work the best for me and I grab for the most. Another one that I love is Chanel's Pro Lumiere, and some people have problems with this, say that it doesn't stay on their skin and things like that. Again, when I use my mattifier underneath of it or a primer, um, I don't have that problem. This seems to work really, really well for me and gives a really nice sheen to my skin. So I really like this one as well. So those are my top five foundations. I hope you found this review helpful. Um, it was just a mini review of some some tips and some things I liked about each one of them. Um, so if you have any questions on any of these products, um, I think I have a review on every single one of them. I might not on Studio Fix Fluid, but that's it. But I have a review on all the rest of these. I have the Chanel, the Coors, the Dior Nude, and the Giorgio Armani. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. And if you want any more information about those products, check out my reviews. All right. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.